Hey guys, it's Nia McFly and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, as you guys see from the title, this is going to be a video of me styling my hair. I'm about to try to do this Tiana Taylor look that I've seen on the reel and I think she looked beautiful as always. And I was going to try to redo it because she had like some finger waves. It didn't look too hard. I usually do my baby hairs all the time and I always feel like that's like similar finger techniques. So I was like, this is going to be a walk in the park. Let me just get this done. That was not how it went, <laughs> but I won't waste any more time. I will let you see it for yourself. Oh. And I will let you know that I've been kind of switching up my hair products. So I know almost in every video I show you like a different styler that I use. Um, from like my past two styling my TWAs and this video I've used a different one. And that's just because I've noticed that with my short hair because I'm washing it so much more often. I feel like I'm using the same products over and over so my hair is getting used to them. And kind of just like canceling them out and not really taking the products in. So now as I've started to kind of like alternate a few that I know work for my hair um, I feel like my hair has been taking them in a lot better so today I will show you which products I use but um, don't think that I'm like I don't use the other products that I use because I literally probably use them all just as much like all equally um, and I'll even do a little video on those products and which each of them do for me so anyway stay tuned and let's get to the video <laughs> All right, so jumping right into my styling. When I was in the shower, um, I always style my hair in the shower because I feel, well, I have low porosity hair and being in the steam opens up the cuticles to my hair and just allows my products to soak in a little better. In the shower, I use my Shea Moisture. Um, this is the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And then for my gel, I used Eco Styler. I like gels that actually hold my curls and hold my hair in place. So I like this combo and they don't flake. All right, I just finished doing my makeup and I feel like I don't even look right without like some form of baby hairs um, like laid down. I feel like my face isn't like framed. So just now, I, in, pre in preparation for applying gel to my hair, I figured that I don't want the gel to mix with any stylers I have in my hair. So I figured I should just wash the sides of my hair just to get the product out of here. Um, so I just stuck my head in my sink right there and literally just washed the edges of my hair just now. Um, and I think I'm just gonna go hard and use black gel. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> So I guess I should have some strategy. I guess I can try to like part it. It's not really gonna part too well. I'm just gonna do it like a hairstylist and smack that on there. Uh, I haven't used this much black gel since ever. not easy difficulty extreme <sighs> let's try a different utensil you know maybe maybe it's the utensil maybe it's not me maybe it's the let's try it, okay this was going to be a lot easier <laughs> this 
This is what I got so far. Can you see? It's not really going too well, but I have like really good form. Let me kind of try to section off where I'm not finger waving the back. I'm like choosing my weapon so carefully. I'm like, um, this one or. Okay, this style is a lot harder than it looks. Um, I thought I was going to be able to go in with the same method as I do with my baby hairs and really try to finesse this side of my head and it is not working like that for me. So um, I'm going to bring it back a notch, um, humble myself and just try to style my hair like in a simple faux, faux finger wave look because this was a disaster and I feel like I just have so much gel on the side of my head at this point that I have to do something with it. So let's try to finesse this. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. I'm kind of feeling it. Not usually how I would do it, but whatever. Let's try the other side and I'm gonna stop trying to be so picky. <sighs> Just drop black gel all over my floor. Because I already did the other side, I kind of already know how much hair I'm going to cut out on this side. So that trial and error period doesn't have to be so extreme. why I feel like changing up what I'm using is like helping me get different effects but it could be all in my head Whew, this is damn near impossible
you guys so much for making it to the end of my video this is my end result I do like this it gives what I will say is that it gives me just another hairstyle that I can do and kind of play with as my hair is growing out um, because I definitely don't want to shave down my sides and taper it because I want to continue to grow my hair out and keep it as even as possible with its own like natural growth rate I think this is cute. Tiana Taylor definitely did it better. I definitely don't think that this is kinky hair friendly um, because my hair isn't kinky. My hair is like a loose curl and I feel like it was hard for me to use the gel because my hair kept curling back up. So I feel like if you have a kinky hair texture, it's going to be damn near impossible to slick your hair down without it waving back up in some sense. I was thinking maybe even using like clips, like some silver clips to kind of hold the hair down, but even that might be a little tricky. I don't know how y'all's do it, but this is fly and I'm happy I got it done. So thank you guys for staying here with me today and I will catch you guys in my next video.